Hi, I'm Burke from Make. Sometimes you need to monitor your network performance, like with LAN parties or with streaming media. Most operating systems provide utilities to track all the bits and bytes that pass over a network connection, but typically these tools lack obvious visualization. That's where the Internet Speedometer by John Carve and Tyler Warman can really help. It uses a BeagleBone Black to monitor network speeds and its programmable real-time units, or PRUs, to control a string of tri-colored LEDs. Now your network speeds are displayed as bright and colorful string of lights that everyone can see. You will need the following parts for this project, most of which can be either picked up at your local Radio Shack or purchased online. And the only tool you'll need is a computer for programming the BeagleBone. This isn't a very difficult project to build, however multiple steps are required for setting up the necessary software. Familiarity with the Debian flavor of Linux is helpful, and the entire configuration process can be found on the project page. The LED strip from Radio Shack comes with example code for the Arduino. In this code, they are manipulating the data pins at a very high speed to send the correct high-low signals to the data pin on the strip. To mimic this behavior on the BeagleBone Black, you'll be using a library called Pypress, which will give us access to the aforementioned PRUs. Install the Pypress library and the AM335X PRU package. Both are necessary for Linux to communicate with the two PRU cores, and you can find out more PRU-specific details on the project page. Next, create a device tree overlay so Linux and the PRU cores can communicate. You'll need to shut down the Beagle for the new device tree to load, and that's a perfect time to wire up the tricolor LED. Connect a black jumper wire between P8 pin 2 of the Beagle to an empty row on the breadboard. Then connect the ground wire from the power supply and the black wire from the LED strip to this row as well. This will serve as the circuit's ground and will ensure proper timing. Connect a green jumper wire between the Beagle's P8 pin 12 and an empty row on the breadboard, and then add the green wire from the LED strip. This row communicates the control signal from the PRUs to the integrated circuit in the LED strip. Finally, wire the red LED wire to an empty row and add the positive, striped, wire from the power supply. This row powers the LED strip only and should not be connected to the Beagle, unless you want to destroy your Beagle bone. Triple check your wiring, plug in the power supply, connect the Beagle to a computer, and connect an Ethernet cable to the Beagle. Once the Beagle Bone boots, follow the final setup instructions on the project page. Download the speedometer code and run the speedometer Python script. Now your network speed is visualized. For the adventurous makers out there, the code is highly commented and fully hackable. Try customizing the colors, duration of speed testing, and even the number of LED segments illuminated. For this and more, head on over to the project page for more tips and tricks on building your own internet speedometer.